Hi guys, hope you're all having a wonderful evening. I'm just sitting here in the chair. I'm kind of waiting for the chickens to go in. I'll give them a few more minutes and if they don't go in, I think I'll just put them in a little cage and lock them in for the night. Um, I did my lawn a couple hours. I spent maybe two and a half hours on the lawn uh, mowing it and then using the weed whacker. And I noticed over here, we've been seeing the deer, uh, other deer too, across this wall um, over my back backyard, this little stone wall there with a gang box. We have some things we need, need for the lawnmower and stuff there. We see, like, usually deer against or over that wall. I'm a little tired right now. <laughs> and I noticed today when I was out here working that this is my compost pile that I just put things that I want it to break down a little bit, like eggshells and coffee grounds and different things I put here. And then I'm going to put it into my garden. But I noticed when I was standing here that this part here looks like Maybe a deer might have laid down in here because it's supposed to all look like that standing up. And then when you look down, it's a big flat spot. So maybe a deer might have laid there. The possibility. I think I hear somebody. Hold on. Maybe it's just the wind. The wind's really blowing today. I thought I heard something in the back of me, background, but maybe. Could be. Um, I'm just kind of surprised. Of course, the deer come out at night, but they also are out early in the morning. Uh, but I think they like coming out early, early dawn maybe, and maybe evening. I don't know. But um, we've seen quite a bit of them around the yard, and they're really camouflaged. It's hard to tell exactly where they are. But anyway, so I thought maybe that uh, a deer might have just laid down right here, decided to take a snooze right in this. Um, lay down area it would be it would be pretty cool i mean to be camouflaged so you're down here so laying down you know you get all this tall stuff all around you and i have uh, fly traps and i have mosquito traps and and i have beetle traps that they don't eat up my roses so on the property so the acre that i have i have traps up so um normally the, the traps do a good job so Maybe the deer, if he, if he did lay down there, or she did lay down there, probably it's less buggy, you know, less tormented about the bugs in the woods and things like that, um, where I have all these different traps up. So I'm waiting for the girls to go to bed. I'm just walk around for a minute. While I was waiting, the wind really picked up, so I took a little picture of some pinwheels blowing in the wind. The wind sounded like it was uh, highway traffic, you know, going by. It's really, really noisy. But the girls are over there. I've got the kitty in the barn. i got the goats in the barn. The chicky mamas are still out there. They're like waiting to the last minute. And that's okay. It's a beautiful day. I don't blame them. They're busy. They've had their mealworms and their grass, cut grass, and their regular. You know, they have their grit and they have their regular grain all the time. So just kind of waiting for them, kind of wrapping up my day. Get to a good shower and clean up. I'm doing yard work for two and a half hours. You can get pretty dirty. And let's look up here for a minute. Oh, look at these. These are, hopefully they're going to come out soon. I really want to show you these when they come out. Some kind of a lily, I guess. They're pretty when they actually do come out and blossom. Now, the bunny that we had hopping around decided to take, take a little snack. So, basically, these things look like this. The tops might be a flower that's going to come up. So, Mr. Bunny decided, or Mrs. Bunny decided to gnaw on this one. Took it right down. Whoops. Yeah, kind of like took the top off that one. And uh, ate the leaves on the stalk. So, but but uh, luckily didn't touch the rest of them. I have 12 of those. I just wiped out that one particular one right there. Hmm, interesting. Let's hope that she doesn't come back or he come back. Um, so, we'll go around here. So look at my... Tiger lilies. No, no, these are not tiger lilies. They're just regular lilies. I think they're orange, just regular lilies. But I think I counted like about 30 of them. They're going to be blossoming, which is going to be really nice. And uh, we put some bunny feed over there un underneath that shade area. Because there's a little bunny, so I told Tobias wanted to put some feed out. He said, that's okay for now, a little bit of feed. But if I smell Mr. Skunky, then <laughs> the feed stops. Because um, even though you want to feed little bunnies, you know, other critters come and get it. Mr. Skunky is pretty smelly, so I don't want to smell him in my with a nice open windows on a beautiful day like today. So I put a little bit of food out. We'll see if, if she finds it, the bunny. And uh, hopefully the uh, 
All the little skunkies won't be around. I haven't noticed anything, any skunks recently. Um, past couple years I haven't noticed any. They were getting underneath my barn. So I had blocked all that off so they can't get in there now. They were getting into the barn and they were actually eating the cat's food. So, um, And you know it's funny because when they were in the barn, they were, I had my um, trail camera on so I could see them in the barn. But it didn't smell. There was no trace of them at all. So I don't know how, what that's all about. But it didn't smell at all. So, hmm, interesting. Grass is doing good. We'll just kind of kill some time together while we're waiting for the chickies to get out. I mean, go back inside. Hope Luna doesn't come out. You know, he, Luna climbs the, he climbs the eaves and comes down the tree. Um, yes, yeah, so the grass is doing good. It's doing pretty good. I watered it yesterday, but we're supposed to get some rain tonight, so I'm not going to bother watering it tonight. It should be pretty good. It's coming in really nice. Never had grass in that spot before. So that's doing pretty good. I won't, well, let's see. Still waiting for those chickies to go in. And the roses are doing beautifully. Really doing nice. Really blossoming. And some of them on this uh, yellow, or yellow kind of yellow whitish well first they come out yellow and they turn white those roses some of them are already passing away but um, they're doing beautiful got the orange ones down there got a few more signs I'm putting up here and there little little decorations on my garden I like seeing little things that make me happy and garden's doing good get going chicken mamas get in there um, yeah garden's doing good and the other tomato plant, this one tomato plant down there, well, he's doing good. That Zach gave me. But the one that wasn't doing so good is over here. It's doing much better now. This is the plant that Zach gave me that was super dried out when it came from the store. Boy, he's standing up nice and straight now. He's doing wonderful. He really feels good. Okay. So it's so peaceful. The wind, like I said, the wind was really howling. It sounded like... I lived right near a highway. It was really incredible. Hey, look. I think... My fingers are dirty. I've been in the soil all day. But I think this one here... I had an apple there. It's missing. And an apple over here. Oops, no, yeah, apple there. Missing there. Hmm. I noticed that today. Because I'm keeping an eye on these apples to see if they're different from the other ones. So that's interesting. I thought I had a couple more apples. So, they, so somebody's been by eating my apples, more than likely the deer. So this year I'm not going to do anything about it. You know, next year I'll just uh, probably put put a, mm, a wire fencing around it, I guess. So these, these are okay. So I'm kind of thinking those apples are this here. Hmm, thinking that's different than these. Time will tell. And I did have a few apples. I mean, these, okay, these are pears now. I'm saying apples, but these are actually pears. But you know that. Here you, you, you are screaming at me saying, no, they're pears, they're pears. Yeah, you know that. So I'm just pooped out tonight. I'm really, really, really tired. So those are pears. So, so I think those pears right there are different than these pears. That's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering why that's going on like that, my phone. I hope I didn't touch another button to have all these pictures taken. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. So I had a couple apples over here. And again, I can't find them right now. Oh, I just have one left. And I did see a cardinal in the tree. A little apple up there. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm not sure if the deer is nibbling on my apples. Possible. Hmm, interesting. So, again, uh, nothing I'm going to do this year. I'm just too busy with trying to finish up the house and, and the inside. I'm trying to do a little extra work there in the bathroom. And I gotta put up, I still haven't finished putting up my wallpaper in the kitchen. i got to get that up there. But uh, next year, next year I'll probably put some wires around the tree. Um, I've got to cut the tree back a little bit, trim it back a little bit because I want it to get thicker and not necessarily a little tall. So we're doing pretty good. So I think I'm going to probably end this. I'm probably going to just... Um, Give the chickies a few more minutes, and then I'm going to put them inside. I'm looking forward to my shower and just getting some hydration, just kind of relaxing a little bit. Time's going by so fast. It's amazing.
amazing how fast time is going by. Okay, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful night. And, um, and I will catch up with you a little bit later. Just wanted to say hi, and while I'm waiting for my chickens to go in, um, just thought I'd stop and say hello. And no, I don't see I don't see anything right now. I think I'll probably I think I'll probably go in the chicken coop myself while I'm waiting. Lay down in the coop and take a little nap. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay guys, you have a wonderful night and I'll chat with you later. Okay, bye bye now.